This is called Madonna for Exine Cervenka. Madonna. She makes me want to drink beer. She makes me want to drive real fast and go bowling. She makes me want to shop at Sears. She makes me want to kick vegetarians. When I hear her sing, I know she's singing to me. She wants to get nasty with me. When I see her face, when I see her eyes, when I see her lips talking to me, telling me to come on, I get to feeling real mean. I get to feeling like I want to do a whole lot of push-ups or go to a hardware store. And then I have to cool down, man. I have to cool down. And it's either going to be a cold shower or a Bruce Springsteen album. Here we are in beautiful Hollywood. They stay riding around in a crappy old Cadillac. Yes, here we are. John Doenick saying hi. This is me, John. Uh, this rented Cadillac has got for brakes. So uh, if the camera goes flying, buddy, you know what happened. Now I think as we're as we're beginning our trip here, we should start a pool as to how many miles we get to go before this car craps out. What do you think? Good idea. I think we make it all. I think we make it all the way, wherever we want to go and back. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll say... Uh, and I'll bet you five dollars on it. Oh, my goodness, this is high, high stakes here. I came to Los Angeles in 76, around Halloween, because I had lived on the East Coast for 13 years in Baltimore. And I wanted to do something with music, and you can't do anything in music in Baltimore besides play bar band stuff and Top 40. So I wanted a big change, and I wanted to go to a place that was going to be decent for that, you know, for making something out of yourself. So I came here. Here we are on beautiful Hollywood Boulevard. Should have one of those little microphones. Most cities, you know, they're really great. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. And it's like LA. Most cities are kind of a lot like LA. People are pretty hip nowadays, you know. They kind of don't think of us as the punk rock, punk rock uh, threat, you know, coming to town to like ruin their scene or something, break a lot of equipment. There was our cleaners, nice Nobody guy. Nobody wants to hear that, John. And right here, here is our lovely old house. Yep. Right there. Look at those plants. They repainted it since we've uh, moved out. Has a lovely backyard. <clears throat> Lots of flies. And, okay. Uh, I threw a burning chair out of that door once. It almost caught the house on fire. Our uh, roadie friend, uh, Chuck, fell asleep with a cigarette. We woke up and the house was filled with smoke. I threw it out, turned the hose on it, and went back to sleep. And about two hours later, the fire department was out there hacking it to pieces with axes. It was really swell. I guess I didn't put it out, huh? I, I've only written one song. That's true. It was the first song I ever wrote, I'm Coming Over. And ever since then, I never really tried to write songs. I just, I just kept writing, you know? I don't really know how to write songs. I just write. And then I try to make sense of it later, and edit it. John, John usually does that, too, because I can't really conform what I write to that kind of... style is so strict, you know? Oh, uh, they were they were too busy to wave. Sorry, uh, I was hoping that they'd recognize me, but they're a little busy. There's so much so much stuff that people do that no one ever sees, and I think that's good. I think art should should kind of be like that. You're not supposed to really care about what people think, although it's really impossible. I wish I didn't. You know, it's hard for me to say that honestly because I do care what people think. Or I wouldn't be in this band and be in the you know public eye and all that. But I like to keep something to myself. Just put a little bit out there. The facts we hate will never leave. Walking down the road, everybody on earth. I'm waiting for you, I'm a 
I think, the, I think actually the best thing about Los Angeles to be serious is that it doesn't have an identity and everybody hates it and there's no real social pride about Los Angeles, which is like one of the phoniest, pretentious things that somebody can have is to have pride about a, you know, a, a hole like New York or a hole like Los Angeles or, I mean, it's just a big scummy place for people to come and try to do their business, you know, but I like the fact that Los Angeles is all confused and nobody really likes Los Angeles. They put up with it, I think. But it's good to be in the heart of the beast. <laughs> <laughs> 